Hi there. If you want to be safe, one very important point is that you should use your front brake only in emergency along with your rear brake. But when I was practicing trail braking, there we have to use the front brake a little bit when we are cornering. So I really lose the balance and at the speed of 60 km, I fell down and I injured my left shoulder. I broke the packs, foot packs of my bike and damaged a lot of other items of my bike. So what I suggest to you, first of all, once you are learning the skills, you should be having all the protective gears right from top to bottom, safety shoes, ankle guard, knee guard, hip guard, shoulder guard, elbow guard, your beautiful gloves and your helmet. And never, never try to use your front brake alone. In this picture you can see my best friend Andre Bodrov is showing you what is happening. Once you apply the front brake, what is happening, you can see there. You can see very clearly what is and happening. drop the bike. If you want, you can even try it yourself with this really simple exercise. You don't even need to you stop see, he's the walking end. with the bike. Walk your bike, turn and you apply the brake, left, and you see and it And apply the front brake. you immediately feel how your bike wants to be pulled. You see Just So dear friends, what I suggest to you. Front brake is very powerful because in ordinary bikes it can be a drum brake but some superior bikes it will be disc brake and much more superior power bikes, adventure riders, they use double front brakes with all these kind of modern techniques. So just not to repeat the mistakes I did, please, please, please don't learn on ordinary roads these all skills, go to the right place where there are no sands, where there are no gravels, where the surface is even and you are properly guarded. See how painful it is once you get injury. In the shoulder bleeding, knee brave bleeding, legs bleeding. As I am an athlete, so most of the time when I fallen from my bikes, I came out with a much more safer conditions because of my athleticism. Once I was doing, you know, the stand riding, because once you are on the very difficult and unpaved path, driving the bike while standing is much more comfortable. So, unfortunately, I was riding ordinary bikes. And when I was making L turn, it was, it was not basically U turn. The land was very slippery, the land was very powdery and very sandy. So once making turn, just the rear tire skid and I fell down and the surface was not even, so I dislocated my shoulder. Terrible blow came to me. It's still painful. I'm not going for surgery, but pain is really very serious. But still I love riding two wheelers. There are a lot of skills, there are a lot of techniques, there are a lot of challenges. Another more dangerous point I tell you, when you are riding the bikes on the road and sometimes there are a lot of speed breakers, we in India try to go down and skip the speed breakers. They are two, three, four in numbers and we have to come down at a heavy Breaking and go to very low speed of something like 10 and then we don't like to do that so we come down from the main road and go to the dirt road and once we went to climb again to the main road there is two three four five inches gap so if you just want to slide your front tire and come to the main road definitely our bike is going to tip down and there again you have the big problem. Your bike is so precious, your bike is so costly and expensive. The bikes are our heartbeat, there is our breath, we love it so much. They love it so much. Bikes are just like our companion, we don't like it to be even scratched. And more than bikes, 
the rider myself we got a scratches we got injury so please my friends be very careful learn all these skills very smartly and then only be careful and don't drop you right we still we still can use the front brake if we are really careful but we have to be much more gentle rear brake is just much easier to control at slow speed which is why it's a better idea to use it even if we apply it too much we'll get a little slide like this and that's it no big deal you know 